Hi guys, it's me, Wussy. Today we have come to Disney Springs. We're going to explore around, see what's new, check out the things that have been here for forever, and revisit them again. So let's go check out all the updates. Well, we're here by Cirque du Soleil, and as you can see, it's all under scream. It's been dark in here for a few years and we're still waiting for the official announcement of the new show that will be occupying the space here, formerly known as Nanuba. But what will Cirque du Soleil be bringing here? It should be a very heavily influenced show by Disney. A Disney influenced show is what we're expecting to be announced very soon. Wow, and you can't help but notice the drastic change in landscape as you get to the NBA experience, formerly the home to Disney Quest, which was here for years and years. We used to have a lot of fun in there. It was getting a little bit tired and a little bit uncared for by Disney standards. And that is obviously because they had plans, NBA experiences here, and underneath this section, all under here, is gonna be City Works, which is a new bar and restaurant coming soon. But the NBA experience is open and the entrance is just down there. Across the way from Cirque du Soleil, you have House and Blues. This side on the left, where the band are playing, this is the restaurant side. There is a takeaway place here called the Smokehouse. And then over on the right, this is the entrance to the club. And over here is where you can go into the gift shop and get your tickets. And then across the way from House of Blues, we come to the new entrance for the NBA experience. Now I'm not a massive basketball fan, not to say I don't like it, but it's not massive in the UK. So we're gonna go in and see what we have to do. So inside the NBA experience, you are greeted by this massive basketball themed gift shop, obviously because it is the NBA experience. Through this way here, you need to pay for a ticket to get through to go into the actual experience. It's $34 for ages 10 and up, and it's $29 for ages three to nine. So I presume anyone under three must be free. So whilst I'm not the biggest basketball or sports fanatic, I do like that we do have some basketball themed Mickey bags. They've even got basketball Mickey ears. And there is some Disney merchandise, so it's not just a sports place. Disney have put their own little stamp on the sports products in here. Ooh, look, you can even get basketball Mickey. And I've just noticed that the basketball Mickey ears are actually customizable. You can pick what patch you like, and you can attach it to your Mickey ears. So patches are an extra $9.99. And I love the personalization station. You can get some phone covers that are NBA experience meets Disney. You can also get some magic bands on demand and even some nifty sports bottles. So it's great to see that everything is customizable here at the NBA experience. And just some of the extra patches you can get. You can get Mickey in red and green and gray and different colors. Also then got Minnie Mouse, where's Minnie Mouse? I did just see her, there you go. Minnie Mouse is also here in different colors. You can get her too. There's Goofy, reaching and stretching for the ball. And you've also got Donald Duck. I wonder if there's any more, but they're the main four that I found so far. Okay, I've just learned something. I remember always coming to Disney and seeing this logo everywhere, Orlando Magic. I'm really sorry, but forever I thought it was an advert for a magic show. <laughs> I've just realized it's a basketball team, Orlando Magic. Who knew? And for the bargain of $1,100, you could be the proud owner of this Golden State Warriors Nike Gold Hardwood Classics Swingman jersey, as signed by Stephen Curry. There's Stephen. There's the autograph. Oh, and I love these basketball lights with the hoops as well. Everything lights up. If you're a basketball fan, maybe get this in your bedroom. Okay, so we're not gonna go into the NBA experience this time around, but I probably will come back, maybe with my brother-in-law, because I'm sure he will love it in there. 
The next thing after the NBA experience, another sports themed shop, Fit to Run, the Runners Superstore. And just connected to Fit to Run is Splitsville, which is a great restaurant, but mainly it's bowling alleys. There's loads of bowling lanes on two stories. You've got the first floor here and the second floor up there. Rumor has it, Splitsville might actually want to take over the whole building, which is the former home to the Virgin Megastore, and Splitsville might want to take up the whole thing because it's pretty popular in here. And then across the way from Splitsville is the newly open Haleo by Jose Andres. No idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Sorry if it's wrong. And then to the side is also just the entrance here is Pepe, which is also by the same chef. Absolutely love the architecture on this wild and wacky restaurant. So moving from Haleo back to Splitsville, if you then go down this way, that is the way to the Orange Garage. There's quite a few different garages here, all named after fruit. So the Orange Garage is down there. And on the left is the Pop Gallery. AMC is a massive cinema here at Disney Springs. There's so many screens. And of course, you know they are gonna be playing all of the Disney classics. And then moving around from the cinema, here we have amazing pictures where you can go in and get your photo taken with a green screen, pick a theme or some characters and they will superimpose you into some really great images. There is Star Wars on this side, on the other side they had Moana and Pua as an example, so you can get your photo taken and have it edited in any way you like to match any story or anything that you really, really like here at Disney. Next up from Amazing Pictures, you come over to, is it Sosa? I don't know how to pronounce it, it's a family cigar company. Uh, so that's a cigar shop. And then coming over here is Peli Soccer. So there's another sports shop here and this is all soccer themed. And then across the way from the soccer store is Bongos. And I think this is owned by Gloria Estefan. And I also think it might be closed now because it's all blacked out. So maybe I'm behind the news on that one. I actually think this is Bongo's and that it's closed down. Ah! And then in the square, right next to Bongo's, there is the cookie dough stand. Everything sweet in here. Check out the menu if you do get a chance. There's so many candy flavored tacos and dessert tacos, cookie dough sundaes, celebration parfait, Mickey and Minnie funnel cake. So many fun sweet treats. And across the way from there, something a bit more savoury, you can get mac and cheese, barbecue brisket mac and cheese, bacon cheeseburger mac and cheese, lobster and shrimp mac and cheese, many more, so that looks really fun. And then you've also got some tacos here. You can get a steak bowl, fish bowl, chicken bowl, vegetarian bowl, taco combos, chips and dips, all here at Springs Street Tacos, looking out over the characters in flight. Okay, then back on the main street, you've got Sunglass Icon by Sunglass Hut. So of course, in this bright weather, you need sunglasses. And next to that is Disney's Candy Cauldron. So this has got loads of sweet treats. Let's go inside. So there are loads of goodies in here. We've got lots of chocolate covered pretzels, lots of different flavored popcorns, oodles and oodles of jelly beans, lots of flavors there. It's like a pick and mix you can have yourself. Goofy's Candy Company, loads and loads of sweets there. Candy floss at the bottom. And then there's some healthier snacks from Chippendale. So we've got lots of nuts and raisins, seeds, protein bites, and then some Mickey pretzels down there as well. And if you're anything like my family and you like to buy something to take back to the office at work, get a box of the taffy. Always goes down really well. And can you spot the hidden Mickey on the wall? at the Candy Cauldron, there it is. So next to Candy Cauldron, if you're a Marvel fan, there's Marvel Superhero Headquarters. Anything Marvel related. And then if you carry on from Marvel, the next place you're gonna get to is Star Wars Galactic Outpost for everything you need from Star Wars. And then across the way from Star Wars, You've got your very own Starbucks. Well, I say your very own. You share it with everyone else, but it's here at Disney Springs. And there is the beautiful Characters in Flight 
hot air balloon. So you go in there, you go straight up in the air, get some glorious views looking out over Disney Springs and the rest of Walt Disney World before you come all the way back down to carry on your adventure at Disney Springs. $20 for ages 10 and up and $15 for ages 3 to 9, so ages 2 and under is completely free. And then across the way from Starbucks, looking down over the street, at the very end, one of my favourite shops, Disney style. So many clothes in here, of course, all Disney related and super, super fun if you're a hardcore Disney fan like me and you don't mind looking a little bit silly. And of course, I don't mind looking silly at all, so we're probably going to head into Disney style and check out what's in store today. Oh, this great movie ride jumper is amazing. I wish they had it in my size and I wish they did it for a male. These are the female ones. I can't see one for the boys. Oh, but I love the great movie ride. Bring it back. Ah, and the classic Skyway to Fantasyland. Of course, that doesn't exist now, but we do have Disney Skyliner going out for a spin and ole ole, it's showtime from the Tiki Tiki Room. I mean, is it bad that I really, really, really want these donut ears? Aren't they amazing? And it's great to see Disney showing their support for Pride. Love comes in every colour, it sure does. And there are so many fun, colourful things here as well. You can get vests, you can get Mickey ears, you can get the cap, you can get a pen, t-shirts, you can even get a Pride Mickey cuddly toy down there as well. Oh and I really like this Mickey bottle as well, that is super colourful, super fun. Love comes in every colour. Ah, oh, fab. You can get some Pride phone cases as well with Mickey on. And you can even get a little bracelet too, that is super cute. They even have one of the actual Skyway gondolas from the Skyway that used to go from Fantasyland all the way over to Tomorrowland at the Magic Kingdom. And just below that is a photo opportunity with one of the teacups from Mad Hatter's Tea Party. And look how cute this bag is, it's Doug from Up just next to the Wilderness Explorer Mickey Ears and the Wilderness Explorer Cap. You can also get a grape soda top as well. <laughs> but of course I love this. Oh hey, it's Ducky from Toy Story 4. And if you're a fan of Inside Out, look how many unicorn goodies there are in here. This backpack, <laughs> that's so cute. What is this? A little key ring, a little keychain. That's fab, you can get the phone cover. And <laughs> look at this fleece hoodie. Even comes with the hood. And what's on the back? Let's have a look. On the back of the hood, you've got a unicorn fur. <laughs> look at this. A multicolored rainbow unicorn tail. Okay, I'm totally, totally want that. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. Look at these amazing. It's a small world products. This bag is epic, that is absolutely massive. And of course it's super cute, super colourful. I love the castle on here. I think my favourite thing is this handbag. It's a small world, it's the boat. That is fab, how much is that? That is $84, comes in one size, that is amazing. I kind of want that too. And look at the super cute, it's a small world Mickey ears as well, fab. Absolutely love it. It's so good in here. Okay, so that wraps up everything there is to see on the west side of Disney Springs. Thank you for watching. Bye from me, Wussy.